Intro to UML UML stands for Universal Modeling Language. UML is a language agnostic way we can represent classes. Different languages have different syntax, so we draw UML diagrams to show the member variables and functions of a class, but not the exact syntax. The top portion shows the class name. The second section is for member variables, and the last section is for member functions, also known as methods. In a UML diagram, we list out the name, then the type. So this UML, name, colon, string, would translate to C++ as string name, semicolon. And this function attack, parentheses, die, colon, int, in parentheses, colon, int, would translate to C++ as int attack, parentheses, int die, in parentheses. Items marked with a minus sign are private. That means this member can only be accessed via functions that belong to this class. Items marked with a plus sign are public. These members can be accessed by any function, inside or outside of this class. Items marked with a pound sign are protected. These members are only able to be accessed by this class's functions or its children's class's functions. So translating this UML diagram to C++ would look like this. We can also use UML to connect our classes using arrows in order to describe relationships, like inheritance or composition. Let's say we have a course class. A course contains a teacher and a vector of students. This is an example of composition, where one class contains another. We can connect the class diagrams with a line ending with a diamond to show a composition relationship. Now, a teacher and a student might have some things in common, like both have names. We can put any common characteristics and functionality in a parent class, and draw a line with an arrow from the parent to child to show an inheritance relationship. Inheritance is a relationship where one class is a other class. One inherits from the other and shares traits with its parents. Composition is a relationship where one class has a other class. One contains the other class as a member variable. It is important to learn to read UML diagrams because they are useful both in reading design requirements but also to write so that other developers can understand a class's design at a glance.